Hello, hello. Hello class, somebody here? Hello class, welcome. Great to have you here. It is raining cats and dogs, right? Está lloviendo fuertísimo en varios lugares, pero bueno, estamos acá, okay? So, welcome Brandon. Thank you for being here. Buenas William bien, Francisco, bien. hello. And Carlos Miguel, thank you so much for Muy being bien. here. Hey, I was concerned about you guys. Estaba preocupada hoy. ¿Será que a todos es se les ha perdido la conexión? Ahí. No, ah. mandó a, a, a hacer un registro el eh, Zoom. Ah, de verdad. Vamos, al, al menos a mí me mandó a, hacer un, a llenar un formulario de ahí de, que me registrara con nombre completo, apellido, correo electrónico. Y por eso fue que me tardé más. Porque... Oh, en serio. Uh -huh, pero no sé si a los demás también será lo mismo. No sé, quizás y por... Luego... por... Y ya ah, con eso después me mandó que, un correo y con ese correo ya pude iniciar. Ajá, <risa> creo que es como para que, como un parche de seguridad. Ah, para perfecto, hoy... quizás es actualización, porque se Ajá. recuerdan que ayer yo no podía ingresar por el audio y, y yo les hablaba y nada, ¿sí? Sí, es como un parche de seguridad para sí, probablemente usted confirme por medio de su correo. Ah, correcto. Entonces, por eso es que algunos quizás les va a... Pero ya se están incorporando. Ok, qué bueno saber eso, ¿verdad? Que ustedes siempre eh, pendientes. Y yo, hello, sí, hello. Pero, yes. El, 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 el sonido se le escucha como que muy, muy allá al fondo. Sí, lo que sucede es que como está lloviendo bien fuerte, probablemente por eso, por eso sea, ¿verdad? Eh, que, que, que hay que le digo... Y aquí en nada está lloviendo. Bien, bien Pero en, en algunos lugares dicen que como a las 5 de la tarde Hasta comenzó a llover. Derrumbe. Sí. En ciudad, barrio, nada, oh, sí. Eh. ¿En serio? Eh. Ok. Ya les comparto. Ya a ver Permítanme cómo está que acá se ha registrado correctamente. Pero. Sí, acá. Eh, me dice Lucy que no le da paso el, el Zoom. Se ha registrado correctamente. Grupo 17. Sí. Compruebe el correo electrónico. 
pero dice se ha registrado correctamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, después que les manda esa, vean en el, en el, en, por favor, ahí en WhatsApp, ¿qué que le más les pide? ¿Qué tienen que hacer? Yo creo que el link está malo, porque yo generalmente siempre utilizo el link y me, uh -huh. me abre Zoom en la compu, pero ahora no, tuve que ingresar el, 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 el correo de la llamada y luego la contraseña. Ah, ajá. Ingrese el número de la llamada, ¿verdad? Yo lo hice así y me, me redireccionó donde le dije. Ah, así bueno. Que, le mejor, voy a... que, mejor que llene el formulario y de ahí después revisa el correo electrónico. Ok. Uh -huh. Bien, porque sí. Bueno, entonces vamos a dar inicio, ¿sí? sí porque acá me está indicando será Professional Audio in Audio Settings. Bueno, está actualizándose esto. Lo vamos a cerrar. Vamos a dar inicio mientras los demás se unen, ¿verdad? Por esa situación que se está dando, ¿ok? Y aquí les comparto mi PPT mientras los demás ingresan. Ok, Jonathan, thank you for being here on time. And here we go. Okay. Aparte de la lluvia, ¿verdad? Que les está dando problema con el internet a varios. Entonces, creo que ahí también radica la situación. Ok. Here we go. Ok. So, today is 19th, right? October. Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. And here we go. Ok. We have in our agenda for our video conference number 12. Greetings, feedback, objectives, and today we're going to continue with the ING form of the verbs, the present continuous. But what are we going to be doing today, guys? We're going to be contrasting the present continuous as future, as we were practicing yesterday, and ongoing activities and simple present. Vamos a estar contrastando ahora lo que trabajamos ayer, el presente continuo como futuro, ¿verdad? Para actividades que han sido planificadas para un futuro y las actividades que se están realizando, ejecutando en el presente simple. So, your task will be to complete sentences using present simple and present continuous, and we're going to be working at pages 31 and 32. Veamos qué más comentan por acá. Y luego, que luego no le da paso. Mm. De, el inter está inestable, tal vez, ¿verdad? Ok. So, uh, right now, as every single day class, I'm going to ask one of you to help me, okay? Reading the objectives for today's class. One volunteer, please. Hello, who's going to help me reading? One volunteer, only one. Okay, who's I going to? Know. Okay, thank you so much. Please go ahead, read the specific objective and the class objective for today. Okay, Carlos, please. Okay, a specific objective. Participants will be able to describe activities in the future and, the, in, and in present tense. Uh, class objective, participants will be able to contrast simple present and present continuous. Okay, so as I was telling you when I was reading the agenda class, specific objective participants will be able to describe activities in the future and in present tense. Esto les dije al inicio que íbamos a trabajar y acá ustedes están, estarán al final en la capacidad, van a ser capaces de contrastar como les indiqué como introducción cuando les leí la agenda, the simple present and present continuous, okay? And here, 
a reminder for homeworks and evaluation, guys. Follow my advice. Take my advice, ¿ok? Siga mi consejo. Por diferentes razones, miren la lluvia torrencial que, está, que estamos teniendo ahora uh, por el internet, los cortes de energía eléctrica y todo lo demás. Tratemos de ir avanzando, ¿verdad? En las tareas a diario. Esta semana no tendrán examen, solamente las tareas del día a día. Traten de, eh, por cierto, a... No sé si ya estará Edwin por acá. Él ya me completó todas las tareas. Week one, two, three, and four. Solo el examen final le hace falta. Hay otros que ya comenzaron también. Ya habían comenzado el día lunes con las tareas de la semana tres. Entonces les felicito porque así por algún inconveniente que se nos pueda presentar, ya sea por el internet, corte de energía o el tiempo que ustedes tienen, entonces, tratemos de ir avanzando lo más uh, pronto posible, ¿de acuerdo? And then here, we have also the requirements. Remember, your full name, eh, la cámara encendida, el audio y la participación activa, ¿verdad? Como siempre, como todos los días la tienen, siempre que tenemos clases, felicitaciones por eso, chicos. And then here, the attendance as every single day. Okay, two times in the class and after the class, one-on-one -on -one session with one of you, okay? Again, here, you already know about this, but I have to tell you. And here we are over here, okay? Semana tres. En esta semana estamos ya a punto de finalizar y muy pronto estarán ustedes en la semana cuatro. Okay, so here we go, and we have here this feedback. If you remember class, yesterday we were working with many things, right? But in the end, we were working with this conversation, and you were practicing it. Y la estuvieron practicando, ¿se recuerdan? Entonces, ahora vamos a iniciar con este feedback, con esta retroalimentación, practicando la conversación, and you are going to work on the completion of exercise three. What is the instruction? I would like to have one of you to help me reading, okay? Please help me reading the instruction for exercise three. ¿Quién me va a ayudar a leer las instrucciones? Complete uh, the following sentence. Uh, use the conversation about to help you. Okay, here, complete the following sentences. Use the conversation above to help you, okay? Vamos a completar estas dos oraciones después que hayan practicado la conversación as a feedback y acá vamos a completar con la información que hace falta, ¿de acuerdo? You have this information in your, okay, in your in your module, in your book, in your manual, and I'm going to share it also here via WhatsApp. Okay. There you are. Okay. Veronica, okay, Veronica. Good evening, thank you. Now you are more here. Y algunos les está dando el problema. Ojalá que puedan ingresar con el link, ¿verdad? Que les reenviaron ahí porque. Ok, ya lograron ingresar. Entonces, en este momento, vamos a pasar a los breakout rooms para que tengan esa práctica. Y si cuando ingresen los otros compañeros, lo voy a asignar. Ok, here we go. Because let's take advantage of the connectivity and the power, the electricity, la electricidad que tenemos. Ok, so here we go. Open your eyes big and remember to switch turns in order to practice the conversation. Ok, para practicar la conversación y completa. You have five minutes to do the activity. Here we go. Um, perdón, aquí hay un, una situación. Eh, permítanme, no lo voy a enviar a los grupos porque necesito que 
acá eh, Filomena, su nombre, uh, cambia sus nombres y apellidos porque me aparece con el nombre de Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Sí, Entonces, tienen que renombrar. Ok. Entró muy Ivania yo, también. Yo, yo la voy a renombrar. Ok, yo aquí la voy a renombrar. Regáleme sus nombres y apellidos, Filomena Luz. Ok. Amaya de Salgado. Filomena Luz Amaya de Salgado. Ok. Yes. Y el mío, teacher. Eh, ¿Dónde estamos? ¿Dónde, dónde? Permítame. Ivania Olmedo. Ah, ok, acá. Sí, Rinen, quizás por cuestiones de seguridad, ¿verdad? Ivania, ¿otro nombre, Ivania? Ivania Elizabeth Olmedo. Ivania Elizabeth Olmedo. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Verifiquen sus nombres, vean cómo parecen, si estamos bien. Ya. Okay. Edwin estaba saliendo como Ana también. Edwin. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Edwin estaba pareciendo Edwin. Aquí Edwin, where are you? Hola, teacher. Ah, ok. Me regala sus nombres y apellidos, Edwin. Lo voy a renombrar acá. Edwin Mineros. Edwin no tiene otro nombre. Eh, Roberto Mejía. Ok, Edwin Roberto Mejía. Very well. Excelente. Ya todos estamos tal cual, ¿verdad? Porque por la asistencia, recuerden que se marca automáticamente con el nombre que tienen registrado. Por eso les hacían acá el, el... Solo por favor, renombre su nombre. Ok. Perfecto. Entonces, no... ¿Dani? ¿Logró ingresar, Dani? No. Ok. Let's move. I open your eyes big because right now I'm sending you the invitation, okay? A blanky, I'm going to assign you to one group. Únanse a sus equipos, por favor. Ay, que blanky estaba en el equipo uno. Okay, there you are. Se unen, por favor, a sus equipos. Eh, Blanqui, go to group number one. Blanca Luz. Group number one. Present teacher. Ok. No me aparece. Le... Es que eh, estoy ahorita con el teléfono. Vaya, no entonces. Se puede eh, me aparece lo mismo que su compañera. ¿Qué es lo que le aparece? Lo. Ahorita lo mando. Sí, vaya, la voy a enviar a un equipo y usted ingresa y luego la reingreso. Ok. De acuerdo. Filomena, su equipo es número cuatro. Vaya, la voy a mover al equipo dos, eh, Blanqui. ¿Ya le llegó la invitación? Blanqui. Blanqui delgado, pero si usted está en clase. Uh -huh. Entonces, acá la envío al equipo. Uno. Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene. Filomena, go to group number four. Ana Marlene, your group is number five. Did you receive the invitation? Yes. Filomena, Luz, Filomena, Luz, your group is number four. Okay, great. Hmm. Yeah. Hello, Henry. I had a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? ¿Con, con quién iba a comenzar? ¿Conmigo o con quién? Yeah. Con cualquier. Yo. Oh, yo. Okay. Hey, Peter. Well, hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is 
attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Yes, that I am I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, ahora Brandon. Soy presentado como está presente como nuevo empleado. La uno sería Héctor, el nuevo contador. La otra sí, la de la otra sí no sé. Is present. Attend the conference. Informa del comité about chat. Pero yo como me escucho, no me escucho cortado. No, se escucha bien. Ah, ok, excelente. Yo no sé si escuchan el ruido de la lámina aquí, pero... No, fíjate que no, no se escucha así el mayor ruido. Hubo una los cierta, audífonos son. Ajá, una cierta interferencia, pero no, no es el gran montón. No sé si lo puede ver, Wilton. Eh, ya. Yeah. Y ahí está la segunda. Porque no me escucha bien. Hello, teacher. Number three, exercise three. Figure it out. Eh, ahí ya, ya lo complementaban, pero no sé si estará bien. Hay que practicar la conversación. Yes, you have to practice the pronunciation. Mm, el... Oigan, fíjense que van a disculpar, pero es que estaba viendo que es un problema de Zoom, lo que tenían al inicio, todos los grupos están en lo mismo. Entonces ahí Ajá. estaba Serafín y otros compañeros y les estaba compartiendo información que recién nos comparte la administración para que logren ingresar, hasta un video han enviado, ¿ok? So, uh, oh, okay. My, my apologies. Uh, yes, guys, you have to practice the, uh, the conversation, ¿ok? Okay. okay. The exercise three. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna check it out. Please check. He is presenting with the new employee. Um. Um. I'm forming the committee about that. Excellent. Great. Very okay. Well. Thank Congrats. you. Yeah. Okay. I am Peter. You hungry? Okay. 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 Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? The contador by Hector. Pero si tengo duda, ¿cómo es sería en la primera? Bueno, si está la teacher, preguntémosle. Que me yeah. Tenemos okay. dudas con. Ya, ya, ya practicamos el diálogo. Excelente. Estamos resolviendo las. La, ah, estamos the resolviendo, pero. The completion yeah. exercises. Pero, okay. pero no entendemos bien la número uno, fíjese. Ah, uh, he's present, sí present, que es lo que le hace falta ah. acá. 
para que sea completa y parecida a la expresión que está en la conversación. ¿Qué le hace falta acá? He is present. Yo veo que solo el ING le falta. That's aquí. correct. Excellent. That is the answer. ING. Uh, okay. uh -huh. Because that is what uh, we were practicing okay. yesterday. That is why it is the feedback. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Pues, pues ya vieron, chicos. He is presenting. 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 Uh -huh. With the new employee. With the new employee. Yeah. So you are done. You finished. Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's get back then to the main session room. Okay? Thank you. Let's wait for the other partners. There was one group still practicing. Oiganme, chicos, eh, parece que Zoom sí se actualizó, ¿verdad? Y eh, por la situación que se dio, varios grupos, bueno, todos los grupos quizás tenían ese problema. Entonces, la administración tuvo a bien compartir un video y algunas indicaciones para su ingreso, pues, el día de mañana y los compañeros que aún no, no han logrado eh, ingresar, pero... Eh, felicitaciones por quienes sí lo hicieron, pero también creo que está influyendo un poquito la inestabilidad en algunos lugares del internet que no les permite el, el acceso por, por la lluvia fuerte que están en este momento en nuestro país, ¿ok? But thank you for being here and Veronica, thank you for sharing the link with the class. You helped uh, your partners doing that, ¿ok? So uh, here we go and right now we're going to get started with the topic for today, but Um, let me see here. This is what you were practicing, right? <clears throat> And here the completion of these two sentences. What is required in sentence number one in order to complete correctly the sentence? Okay, he is present. What is it missing? ¿Qué hace falta? Yeah, ING, ING, presenting. Ex presenting, excellent. In order to make it present continuous. And then here, um, um, the apostrophe and um, Okay, um, um. Um, I'm informing the committee about that. Is that okay? Very well. So class, right now, if you remember yesterday, We were working with these sentences and you were, okay, on a scrambling these words in order to create the sentences in the correct word order. But let's remind how to use the present continuous for future events. And we have the subject, in this case, I, the verb to be, am. Um, the main verb, is in ing meeting because the verb is meet but we are ing the interns tomorrow is the complement and i think there was no problem only you had to establish the difference that when we use the present continuous for future events there is a period of time yes because here we have uh, at 5 p.m as soon as you finish and here tomorrow This is exclusively for events that have been booked, scheduled, programmed, okay? Esta, esta estructura se utiliza para eventos que ya han sido estructurados, que ya han sido programados, arreglados, agendados, calendarizados, ¿de acuerdo? Y que van a suceder en un futuro. So, class, right now, here we go. And this is the center. We're going to be contrasting how to use simple present versus present continuous. 
vamos a ir un poquito más profundo a establecer la diferencia entre simple present and present continuous. So here we go. I need your ears and your eyes open big. We use simple present for general information and routine activities, if you remember. Eh, permítanme. Okay. Me dice Dimas que no puede ingresar, Lucy no puede ingresar. Pero ya les compartieron otra vez el video que les compartí. Ok, bueno, ya les están ayudando ahí. Uh, we use the simple present for general information, routines and activities. For instance, when I say for instance, I mean, for example, they are synonyms. For instance, for example, is the same. I check my email every morning. If you remember in level one and at the beginning in level two, we were working with these activities, right? I check my email every morning. He writes reports about meeting, writes because it is third person singular. She audits inventories, one of the obligations at work for her. They arrange meetings, okay? Ellos preparan, organizan reuniones. This is simple present general information, but we use the present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Acá, el presente continuo para actividades o acciones que se están realizando justo en el momento. Eso es diferente a lo que estudiamos ayer y lo que acaban de practicar en la conversación, ¿ok? I am planning a video conference. They are getting the documents ready. She is editing the information. The secretary is making a phone call porque en el momento lo están haciendo. So I'm going to stop presenting here and I'm going to tell you what am I doing if you ask me teacher what are you doing we are here and then I tell you I'm checking the whatsapp and the instructions the administration is uh, given to your partners in order to okay log into the class see estoy revisando las instrucciones que la administración le está dando a sus compañeros para que logren ingresar sí porque es lo que estoy haciendo en este momento. So I'm going to ask you and you're going to tell me welcome. Okay, uh, here, le voy a cambiar el nombre a Mario porque José Mario no es Ana Verónica, no tiene cara de Ana Verónica. Okay, José Mario Vaquerano, right? José Mario. Estaba lloviendo bien fuerte, por eso no podía entrar, teacher. No, no, no había luz. Yes, I know. I told your partners. ¿Quién más acaba de reingresar? Veamos, ayúdenme a ver los nombres. Alguien más que tenga acá. Dimas. Ok. José Dimas, me dice por favor su apellido. Hola, me escucha José Dimas. Su apellido, please, last name. José Dimas. El micrófono. Ok, José Dimas Barrera. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Ayúdenme, please. Hello. Hello, present. Hello, Edwin. Ok, great. Filomena, Filomena, where are you? Let me see. Eh, les tengo que cambiar el nombre por la asistencia, ¿verdad? Si no, eh, Ana Verónica va a estar muchas veces ahí con tanta asistencia y me van a decir qué pasó aquí, qué pasó aquí, va a decir es a forp. Verifiquen por favor en su camarita que todos aparecen ahí con sus nombres y apellidos. Yes. Filomena, your name is okay. Ana Verónica, you're okay. Thank you. Thank you, Verónica, again. Okay. No problem. And right now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. Y Dani no logró ingresar. Esperemos que luego sí logre ingresar, ¿verdad? Here we go. Hello. Hello. 
Uh, tengo problemas con el audio, teacher. Me ha costado entrar. Lo sé. Sí, es que hubo actualización de Zoom. Parece justo uh, a la hora que estábamos iniciando, ¿verdad? Como, okay. Pues sí, las actualizaciones. Recuerden que la base de Zoom está en otro país y cae a nivel mundial, ¿verdad? Diferentes horas. Ok, so here we go. Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene was here. Marlene. Ok, thank you so much. Thank you. Ana Verónica. Um, Brandon. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. I am here teacher. Carmen Guadalupe. Carmen. Not yet. Clelia. Present. Thank you, Miss. Dani. Dani no ha logrado ingresar todavía. David Emanuel. Present. Always here. No problem. No matter what, you're here, right? Excellent. Yeah. Edwin Roberto Mineros Mejía. Oh, y me dice Mejía y es Minero. Lo voy a renombrar porque tiene que ir en el orden correcto. En la alcaldía me van a confundir. ¿Por qué? Porque voy a tener tres nombres. ¿Va a tener qué cosa? <risa> <risa> no, I didn't listen clearly. Minero Mejía, right? Al menos okay. así lo tengo registrado. Ok, great. Minero Mejía. And then here, Ivania. Hello. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny's Caroline. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Jonathan. Here I am. Great. Jose Dimas. Present. Jose Manuel. Thank you. Not yet, Jose Manuel. Jose Mario Vaquerano. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Ezequiel. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you. My apologies, but it was Zoom. It was not me, neither you. Nelton. Hello, Nelton. Present. Thank you. Serafín. Are you here, Serafín? Logró ingresar al fin, Serafín. No. No pueden ingresar. William. Always here. Present. Yes. Eh, es que lo que pasa es que está cayendo una tormenta terrible y termina acá. En, en, no te puedo decir que tiene problemas, pero aquí. Sí, pero no, él no lograba no, ingresar sí. por la actualización que les ah. están pidiendo. Ajá. Pero en parte también eh, cuando lo intentan hacer el proceso, creo que es por, por, la, por el internet, ¿verdad? Inestable sí. en muchos lugares. Pero ya se van a incorporar, ojalá. Lucy okay. Filomena. Filomena Luz. Present, present. Thank you. Blanqui, logró reingresar Blanqui, porque estaba acá al inicio, se le cayó la señal. Alejandra Michel, not here. Beatriz, absent. Noé, absent. Ok. So, uh, let me see. Jose Mario, what are you doing right now? Jose Mario, what are you doing right now? Get ready because this is the question. ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento usted? ¿O qué estás haciendo? I am, ok, am, y usted dice lo que está haciendo, ok. So, Jose Mario, what are you doing right now? I am taking a class. I am taking a class. Excellent. A class. Very well. Great. Jonathan, what are you doing? Pero otras actividades. I am... Um, For example, I am talking to you. Yes, I am checking my computer. I am watching the screen. Yeah, different activities. I am touching my face. Okay. Jonathan, what are you doing? I am checking my email. Excellent. Filomena, what are you doing? I am checking. Check email a computer. Ok. Um, William, what are you doing? Mm, 
William, Hola. what are you doing? I'm talking to you. Excellent. Okay, hold it. I still have to be to these chicos. And then, um, Nilton, what are you doing? I am studying English. I am studying English. Remember, all the verbs must be in ING porque estamos realizando la acción en el momento, okay? Thank you, okay. Danny. Finally, you're here, okay? Ivania, what are you doing right now? I am drinking water. Oh, excellent. Very well. Mm, let me see. Edwin, what are you doing right now? I am checking the, the group WhatsApp. Okay, excellent. Juan Ezequiel, what are you doing right now? I'm, I am having have dinner. I'm having dinner, great. Danny, what are you doing right now? Danny. Danny. Hello, teacher. Okay, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento, Danny? I'm, I'm paying Hello. attention. What are you doing right now? ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento? For example, I'm paying yes. attention. I am taking a class. Great. Janice, what are you doing right now? I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee. Great. Uh, David Emanuel, what are you doing right now? I am preparing three for, for tomorrow. Okay, Clelia, what are you doing right now? I am in my computer. Excellent. I am in my computer. I'm in my computer. Great. Marlene Noneida, what are you doing right now? I am here. Okay. And let's see, Marlene. Ana Marlene, what are you doing right now? I'm watching my cell phone. Excellent. Who's missing? Let me see. Carlos, what are you doing right now? I am stopping my kid. He's stand at the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is a, you know, a regular situation with the little kids. Okay, class. Now that you, ah, Dimas. Tranquilo. <laughs> Dimas, what are you doing right now, Jose Dimas? I'm my email. Okay, excellent. Very well. So now let's get back to our activities. Yeah. And right now, what are you going to do? Class. Here we have the contrast between the structures for the simple present tense and the present continuous. Remember the uses of the present simple present tense for general information or routine activities, yeah? And the present continuous as you were answering my question, okay? Ongoing activities. It means something that is taking place right now. It is your task right now, class. Complete the sentences in present continuous. For example, Thomas, print out the contract. Thomas is printing, printing the contract but here it was missing out. So we're going to write here, out, okay? Printing out the contract, correct? Now you try to use the present continuous, please, in here. If I say Cheryl meet with the bus right, right now, now without K, okay? Now, acá hubo un error cuando lo digitaron, no fui yo. Okay, porque no es conocer, pero tiene que ser right now, en este momento. Okay, what do I need to write here, guys? Cheryl meeting. is excellent. Meeting, very well. Is meeting with the bus right now. 
Now you go over sentence number three, four, five, and six. Remember class, we are working at page 32, okay? Let's do it, please, and later we're going to contrast, okay? You work along right now. Exercise number four, sentences three, four, five, and six, okay? You tell me, okay, when you are ready with your answers. I finish. Excellent, thank you. One more minute for the rest of the participants. Finish class, the completion, only exercise for these sentences, okay? Only this part, don't go beyond. No vayan más allá todavía, so you don't get confused. Not yet. Aún no. Okay, almost. Thank you for answering. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, class, here we go. We have the example given, Thomas is printing out the contract. What about number two? You told me the answer. Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. What about number three? He is, is taking care of taking care, excellent, of everything, very well. What about number four? I am um, paying. paying attention to the instructions. She is preparing 
is preparing, preparing. the briefing, the briefing, el resumen, ¿verdad? El resumen, pero eh, corto, okay? She is preparing the briefing. Uh, for example, about the meeting, it is what we probably call in Spanish the, la minuta, right? Because it is a, the briefing, um, a short, uh, okay? Number six, day. They are sending. They are sending. Okay, they are sending the product to the warehouse. So in this case, we have been using the present continuous because the action is taking place right at the moment, okay? At the moment that you are talking. Questions or comments about this structure? No, no problems. Okay, yeah. it is your turn now. Here, write in the boxes the activities you usually do on a Monday morning. Okay, here. One, two, three, four activities at least that you do that you usually do on a Monday morning, un lunes en la mañana, obviously at work, okay, at work, and then share the answers that you have with your partners. So right now you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms. And here, let's see. This is the one that I'm going to share with you in case that you don't have it ready by any circumstance. No, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so class, I'm going to transfer you to the different breakout rooms so you can work individually because you, your activities, your duties at work are different because of your occupation and the company that you work for. And later you share your activities with your partners, okay? Do you have any question about the activity? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre la actividad a realizar? Ok. No te sé. Ok. Right now I'm sending you the invitation. Here we go. Me sale una barbaridad de gente. No asignada como 10 personas que perdieron la conexión. Ok, I'm going to assign you people. Ok, don't be concerned. But open your eyes big. Blanqui, qué bueno que logró ingresar. You are back. Ok, here. Now Brandon. Gracias. Brandon, go to group number two. Carlos Miguel, go to group number three. Yeah, Danny, go to group number four. Filomena, go to group number five. Jose Dimas. Um, go to group number one. And Jose Mario. <laughs> yes, I know you're here. Okay, Jose Mario. Uy. Go to group number four. Okay, and William. William, hello, William. Jose Mario, go to group. Hello, class is here. Jose Mario, Dani, David Emanuel, and Juan. Uh, I'm so sorry, David Emanuel, but there were too many, many people in group number five, so I had to bring you over here, okay? 
Okay, teacher. Okay, so you're four. Begin writing your duties at work on Monday morning, okay? Only in the morning on Monday. And later okay, you teacher. share your activities, okay? Great. Cuatro actividades, ¿verdad? Yeah, you do at work on Monday morning. No problems, no questions. Okay. I have to work. I think everybody work the work team. The professional is someone. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Estaba compartiendo aquí a mis compañeros que hacía yo en mi rutina okay. el lunes. Ok, me, me, lunes. <laughs> may I listen to you? Would you repeat, <laughs> please, your activities? ¿Puede repetir eh, sus actividades, Edwin? I get up uh, early. I had breakfast fruit. Mm -hmm. I get to work uh, prepare. Prepare, uh, prepare, teacher. Prepare, prepare. Aha, uh -huh, I prepare. Prepare, I prepare my work team. Okay. And three more activities that you do at work, only on Monday. Tres actividades okay. que realiza en el trabajo, pero lunes en la mañana. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Pero ver. Aquí tenía lo demás. Y, y si no voy a trabajar de lunes, teacher, el día martes, por poner. Yes, yes, but in sí, the morning. Sí, <laughs> yeah, but probably he works on, on Saturday okay. and Sunday. Uh -huh. Yo no voy lunes, teacher, hasta el martes. Oh, you're lucky, boy. We are envious for that. <laughs> Congratulations, lucky boy, lucky boy. Chico afortunado. Ok, Edwin, your sentences, your activities. Okay. Eh, bueno, ya dije la primera. La segunda sería. Eh, eh, uh, dice: eh, check eh, eh, the inventory. Inventory. Inventory eh, the, the paints. Ok. Quiero ver la otra, ¿cuál sería? Eh, clean, clean, limpieza, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Clean, eh, my, my area. The work. My area, my working area. Clean, my working. I clean my working areas. Excellent, very well, thank you. And Marlene? Uh, I fed the cat. Okay. Tenemos un gatito en oficina, por eso lo puse. Okay. The review, what is fading? Okay. I get, get up at four. You get up at four. And tell me one more activity that you do at work on Monday morning. Um, Uh -huh. uh, a supervise another branch branch another branch okay excellent now you listen to brandon okay ahora ustedes escuchan a brandon yeah 
ready, Brandon, with your sentences for the other day. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going to bye, go to the other groups. See you. Did you finish, guys, sharing your activities? Yes. Or not yet? Yes, I finished. Uh, ah. I have a question. I am a question. Este, um, consulta. Okay. Eh, es, es, en, es con el, el siempre con el, 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 el no presente simple presente simple porque son actividades rutinarias que usted siempre hace el día lunes en la mañana ¿sí? uh -huh. entonces no en, en ahí no lleva no, no, ING, eh, no. ING ok no. perfecto ahí estamos okay. recordando la práctica del simple present tense ok ok gracias ok my pleasure Pues ahí, mil. Finish, guys. Not yet. Did you share? Ya compartieron. Did you share with your partners? Not yet. No, okay. No, no, no. okay. Take your time. And remember to read your activities. But remember, on Monday morning, and the instruction is that you usually do on Monday morning. So it means that you have to write the sentences in simple present tense. For example, I, uh, I drink a cup of coffee at 8.30 a.m., yes? Tomo una taza de café a las... Um, a las, at 8.30 a.m., for example, and then it is in the morning something that you usually do as a routine because remember that you have to express the daily activities or the routine activities using the simple present tense. So forget about the ing. Entonces acá estamos recordando el presente simple. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos estableciendo la diferencia entre el uso del presente simple para actividades que siempre se realizan y la otra estructura que comenzamos a ver ahora, la cual es el presente continuo. What is, look at José Mario, what is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo José Mario? Look at him. What is he doing? What is José Mario doing? Continue, José Mario. Yes, he's the top model right now. He is... Is drinking, drinking water. Excellent. Yeah. Very well. He is drinking water. Very well. Entonces, esa acción la estaba realizando en el momento. Por eso era presente continuo. Y le agregamos ing al verbo. ¿De acuerdo? Pero si, por ejemplo, eh, José Mario dice, I always drink water. At 10 a.m. on Monday. Es como rutina que él siempre toma agua a las 10 de la mañana. Ahí no dijimos drinking. He drinks. Ok. Él toma agua. Pero él diría, I always drink water. Yes. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Now, sí, continue. Ya, pues, Ahora sí. Ya. Room. Up, night, I, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I organize the room. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, very well. Okay, see you. Monday morning. I check email. I sell, sell reports. I shake orders. I call clients. Yes. Okay, you say I call clients or I call customers, right? Very well. Clients or customers, synonyms. Very well, Luz Filomena. 
And what about the other partners? Did they read their duties on Monday morning at work? ¿Ya leyeron los otros compañeros sus actividades el lunes por la mañana en el trabajo? Yes or not yet? Eh, no, Williams. Hola. Hola. Hello, hello. William, the partners are waiting for your sentences. Um, can I check report? I visit client. I check sales customers, sales cost customers. I drive to work. Uh, in the motorcycle. And Marlene, did you read your sentences and Jenny's? Yes. All of you did it. Okay, remember that the idea here is that all the sentences must be expressed in simple present because it is a routine that you have, yes? Recuerden que acá las oraciones deben eh, ser expresadas en presente simple porque es una rutina en el trabajo la que están describiendo, ¿sí? De los lunes en la mañana. Por lo tanto, no podemos usar los verbos en ing. If I say Filomena Luz uh, always um, has a meeting on Monday morning, yeah? Entonces, has a meeting on Monday morning. Has porque es tercera de persona de singular. No digo is having or having, no, ok. Creo que no hay, no hay mayor problema, ¿verdad? Con, con estas estructuras, o oh, sí. ¿Alguna dificultad? No. Ok. So I think it is time to get back to the main session room, right? Because everybody had enough time. Let's get back. Regresamos. Let's return to the main session room. Carlos Miguel and Ana Marlene are still out. They are back. Okay, here we go. Class, congratulations. I was listening. Okay, to your performance in the different teams. And here you were supposed to write the activities, okay, write in the boxes, the activities you usually do on a Monday morning. So it usually, it means a routine, yeah? So you were expected to write your sentences using the simple present tense like these ones. I check my email every morning. Uh, I write reports about meetings. I audit inventories. I arrange meetings, for example, yeah? Okay, any problems or questions about this? No? Okay, because here you were sharing with your partners in the breakout rooms. That's okay, yeah? And now, here we go. And I'm going to ask you this. Let me see, I'm going to choose my victim. Hmm. Ana Veronica, ah, oh, she was, she said that she was a listener. Ah, but probably she can answer. Ana Veronica, who is the first person to arrive at work or to get at work 
in the morning. ¿Quién es la primera persona que llega a tu trabajo, a la oficina? No. ¿Eh? ¿Quién? Cleaner, los que hacen limpieza. Ah, the cleaning staff. Ok, great. Thank you. Excellent. That's it. And right now, hmm, I'm going to share with you guys this. Ok. Over here. Right now, you have here this question. This is what I asked to Ana Veronica. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? That is the first question. And the second one, what is the first thing you do when you get to work to your workplace? ¿Cuál es la primerísima cosa que haces cuando llegas a tu lugar de trabajo? Primero, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? ¿Quién es la primera persona que llega a, a tu trabajo? And then, what is the first thing? This is about you, that you do when you get to your workplace, okay? Only these two questions, only speaking, no writing, only speaking. And I'm going to share it with you. Okay, here. via WhatsApp so you don't get confused. There you are, okay? Only two questions. Is it clear what you are going to be asking and answering? Tenemos claro lo que vamos a estar preguntando y contestando. Yes. Yes, more or less or unclear. Yes, okay, here we go. If there is someone who is not in a group, I'm going to assign to you soon, okay? So here we go. I sent you the invitation, please join your groups. And now I think everybody is in a group. Bye, join your groups. Okay, go to your groups. Edwin, go to your group, please. Edwin, Roberto, Minero, Mejia, I need you in group number two, please. And William, please. William, I need you in group number five. William and Edwin, please, do you listen to me? Me escuchan, chicos. Hello. Okay, thank you. Edwin, Roberto, Edwin. Edwin, I need you in group number two if you are so nice, please. Edwin, we're going to be waiting for you in group number two, okay? Bye. Yo empiezo. Le pregunto a usted, Ivani. Ok. Bye. Who is the first person to arrive, arrive at your workplace? Eh, ok. En mi lugar de trabajo. Yo, en, mi, en la primera pregunta es, si... Manager of the branch. The teacher, es una consulta en de ahí, en, digamos ahí en la de yo trabajo. De ahí sería las personas que entran primero al trabajo, este del segur, security, así. Sí. No tiene apagado el, el micrófono, teacher. Ok, security, los de seguridad, security. Sí, sí, ok, sí. yes, no problem, that's ok. No problem. Security, okay. ajá. You have the workplace. I call on my computer. Is my first thing. P. 
finished, guys? No, teacher. Not Parker. yet. Okay. What is the first thing you do? No se ve la pantalla. Teacher, usted me escucha. Hola. Yes, sí, le escucho perfectamente, claro, fuerte. Ok. Sí, okay. le escucho perfectamente. Es que los compañeros no me escuchan. Oh, pero yo sí le escucho bien. Yo igual le escucho bien. Ah, ok. Ahora sí, William, ya le escucha bien, ok. Ok, ok. Entonces, para ver quién va a comenzar con la, con la pregunta, de la, la primera pregunta. Williams. Hola. Hola. The checking, checking, um, check my email. Okay. Thank you, Lina. Okay. Finish class, the practice. All of you practiced yes. answering the two questions. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to ask uh, Ivania, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? The first person to arrive in my workplace is my boss. Okay, thank you. Uh, Clelia, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Is my partner. Okay, uh, Jose Dimas, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, the first person uh, is two persons, uh, the security and janitor. The security and the janitor, okay, yes. excellent. Blanca Luz, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And the first person that arrived at my uh, workplace is my boss. Excellent, because they need to monitor, okay, who is arriving a little bit late. Okay, excellent. And now we're going to move to the uh, main session room because these questions, listen, you are going to choose one partner, you select one partner, and you are going to decide if you ask him or her the first question or the second question, ¿ok? Ustedes van a seleccionar a quién le van a preguntar, ya sea la primera o la segunda pregunta. ¿A quién le van a hacer la primera o la segunda interrogante, de acuerdo? Ok. Ok, here we go. And get ready because maybe someone is going to ask you. Y también a prepararse porque tal vez alguien les pregunta, ¿ok? Here we go. Thank you, sir. Juan Ezequiel and Filomena, they are on their way back. Now everybody, Juan is still coming. Everybody's here. Okay, class, right now, listen, you have two questions in there. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And the second one is, what is 
the first thing you do when you arrive at work, at your workplace. You are going to decide if you ask the first question or the second question. Ustedes van a decidir si van a, um, a realizar la pregunta primera o la segunda a uno de sus compañeros que no haya estado en su equipo de trabajo, ¿de acuerdo? So here we go. Let's get started. Jonathan, you begin. Hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, okay. Repeat. You are going to ask to one of your partners uh, the first question or the second question, but you say the name of a partner who was not with you in your group, okay? Okay. Este, David. David, hello. How, hello, how Jonathan. Is the, okay. How is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, the first person to arrive at my workplace is the agent of security. Okay. The security agents. Okay. Thank security you. Now, agent. David, Emmanuel, you ask a question to someone else. Okay. Uh, microphones. Okay. Uh, Ivania. Yo okay. no compro verduras. Uh, what is the first <laughs> thing to <do> you? <laughs> Compraron verduras. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to buy vegetables. It's a joke. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ivania, Ivania, what is the first thing do you do? Okay. I turn on the computer. Now, Ivania, ask the question to someone else. Okay. Um, vamos a ver para... The question goes to... The question goes to Juan Ezequiel. Okay, Juan Ezequiel, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, the first is the uh, Angel and Security. Okay, thank you. Great. Now, Juan Ezequiel, ask one of the questions to another partner. Okay. Whoa, is it? I'm going to ask Edwin. Whoa, is the first the person to read uh, your workplace? Edwin, the uh, uh, cleaner staff. Okay, now Edwin Roberto Minero no, asks people. the question to another partner. Puede ser la primera o la segunda pregunta. Okay. Okay, uh, cualquiera, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dimas, who is first person to arrive at your workplace? Okay, um, he, the first person to arrive in my workplace are security and janitor. Okay, two, person. two people. Two people. Okay, <laughs> listen, one person, two people. Person, okay. only one. Una persona. Dos personas, two people. people. Okay, okay, two people. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Jose Dimas, ask one question. Um, Jose Mario. Jose Mario, uh, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Uh, the first, the first thing is uh, take a cup of coffee. <laughs> Very honest. Okay, excellent. <laughs> now you, Jose Mario, ask one question to another partner. 
Eh, uh, no sé si Vania ya contestó. Yes, she answered at the beginning. Remember Clelia. about the vegetables. Clelia, hello. Hello. Clelia, uh, who is the first person to read uh, your workplace? The first person is my partner, Gabriela. Okay, now Clelia, ask the question to another partner. The question goes to uh, Carlos Miguel. Carlos Miguel. <laughs> Carlos. Hello. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Um, I, I mark attendance. I check in. Okay. And uh, now, Carlos, Carlos Miguel. Okay. Um, 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 blah, no. Um, ya pasó, David. Yes, I uh, think so. Uh, but uh, Jenny, yes, she is already uh, done. Marlene, Marlene. Okay, your choices are Marlene, Jenny, Caroline, and Marlene William Oneida. Francisco. Okay, Marlene. Marlene, Marlene Oneida. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? He manager of the branch. Well, and uh, now Marlene asked the question probably to William, Ana, Ve oh, no, Ana Veronica, I asked her, or Brandon, or Jenny's Caroline. Jenny's. Jenny's, who is? The first person the a review at what, your what? at your workplace. The first person to arrive is the cleaning lady. Okay. Now Janice ask the question to Brandon. Brandon, what is the first thing you when you get? To your workplace. Mm. Distribute documents. Okay, now Brandon, ask the question to William. Hey, William, what is the first thing you do when you head to your workplace? No lo entendí, perdón. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? I need to check email. Okay, thank you. Now you, William, ask the question to Nilton. Uh, Nilton. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? The first person is a manager. The manager, very well. So you ask an answer to everybody. And remember, arrive, not arrive. Arrive, we say arrive. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace okay so that is the structure that we need to use and then you say uh, who is that person okay here listen to your teacher read the conversation and then you are going to practice it with a partner we have ryan and Raul. good more good afternoon Raul. what are you doing right now this is the question that i asked you at the beginning do you remember what are you doing right now and you were answering so good afternoon ryan well i am planning a video conference oh the conference with the new team in san salvador what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. 
I see what time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, so I need to volunteers to practice this conversation as a model for what you're going to be practicing in the breakout rooms. Okay, yeah. Carlos, and I need another participant. Hello. Okay, Edwin. Um, Carlos, you begin. You read Ryan and Edwin Roberto is going to read Raul. Let's begin, please. One, two, three. Good morning, uh, eh, perdón. <laughs> Good afternoon, Raul. Eh, what are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Brian. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is the are uh, are. Uh, Teacher pronounce. Teacher. Okay, hold it. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Okay. Are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 uh, or 7 30. It, it depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up uh, the letters. Thank you. Arrive. Usually arrive. Usually get. Are getting. Uh, is doing right now. I'm planning. Are doing. Okay. On traffic. It depends on traffic. We don't say it depends uh, in the traffic or of the traffic. No. You say it depends on traffic. It is still depends del traffic. You don't say it depends on the traffic. No, never. That is not correct. We say it depends on traffic. Thank you for your participation. Another pair of participants, please. Two more participants. Thank you, Ivania. You're going to read Ryan. I need somebody else to read the other participant. Okay, we're going to wait. Thank you, Jose Mario. Okay, Ivania, you begin. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at uh, 6 30 a.m. Yes. <laughs> and, and the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Excellent. Thank you so much. So class, what are you going to do right now? You're going to be transferred to the different breakout rooms and you are going to practice what your partners model to you. And you're going to switch roles. In this case, 
they didn't switch roles because I needed for participants to practice the conversation. But you know that you have to switch roles. One thing, the first time you practice it as it is and you switch roles. But on the second chance, you are going to replace the names of the people by your real names and your real activities, okay? For example, uh, Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon. Uh, sorry. Good afternoon, Ivania. What are you doing right now? Oh, good afternoon, Mario. Well, I am planning or uh, yeah, I am planning a, a meeting or a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in, in Santa Ana. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace and what's the first thing you do? Acá tienen la respuesta con su información personal, lo que ya practicaron anteriormente, ¿de acuerdo? Yes? yes. So, two activities. First, you practice the conversation as it is exactly and switch roles. And later, you make it personal, okay? Y luego lo personalizan con su información real, sus nombres reales y sus horarios de llegada. Lo primero que haces, ¿verdad? Y quién llega primero al puesto de trabajo. So, class, we are working right now at page, uh, let me see, 31, because we already worked with uh, the structures at page 32. Only focus on the conversation. Is it clear? Estamos claros con las instrucciones. Okay, but before you move to this practice, I'm going to take your second attendance because it is almost the time for doing that. Ana Marlene, where are you, Marlene? Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene. Ah, I don't listen to Ana Marlene. Maybe she lost the connectivity. Okay. Veronica, Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you, Miss, so much. I appreciate. Brandon, are you here? Present, Thank you yeah. so much. Carlos Miguel. I am here. Great. Carmen. Ay, Carmen Guadalupe had problems today with the connectivity. Clelia. Present. Always here. Great. Danny, Danny, did you come back? No, he didn't. David Emanuel? Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Roberto, where are you? Present okay, I see you. Thank you. Ivania? Here I am. Great. Chenis Caroline? See you. Present. Excellent. Jonathan, hello, Jonathan. Where are you? Jonathan. Here I am. Great. Jose Dimas. Here I am. Great. Now the audio is better, right? Your audio okay. is better. Jose Manuel didn't make it. Jose Mario. Is Jose Mario here? Here I am. Thank you. Juan. Juan Ezequiel, always here, very responsible. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Marlene. Nilton, where are you? Oh. Present. Thank you, Serafin. He didn't have power today. No tenía energía eléctrica hoy. William. Present. Thank you, sir. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Blanqui. Blanca Luz, great. Present, teacher. Great that you're here. <laughs> yeah. Alejandra Michel, absent. Beatriz, absent. And Noé, Bisaí, his connectivity is not so good. Yeah. Okay. So, class, right now we're going to be transferred to the different breakout rooms and you know what to do and how to do it. Ya saben lo que tienen que hacer y cómo lo tienen que hacer, ¿de acuerdo? Recuerden, si pierden la eh, electricidad por un momento, tan pronto regrese, a uh, reingresan, ¿verdad? Igual con el Inter. Si algún día me pasa, please wait for me, ¿ok? Si algún día me pasa, me esperan, please. Don't go away. 
because those things happen. And now I'm opening the breakout rooms. Please go and practice speaking. Uh, tengo dos compañeros que voy a unir a los diferentes equipos. Únanse en este momento mientras asigno a los dos compañeros que tuvieron problema con la conexión o con la electricidad o no. Eh. Okay, uh, Nilton, go to group number two, please, if you are so nice. Okay, okay. Estoy verificando. William, go to group number five. William, your group is number five. Three, three, three. Nilton, group number two. Edwin. Please go Hello. to group number three, if you're so nice. Go to group number three. One, two, three, okay. Edwin, go to group number three, if you're so nice. Thank you. Three, three, four, three, okay. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see what time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to shed my... Pequeño para poder visualizar la dos. Oh, okay. Bye. No. <laughs> I was I was here almost, but not yet. Okay. Y ahora a Nilton le toca quedarse conmigo diez minutos más. Oh my God. No, it is not you. Yeah. It is not your turn, Nilton. No, Otra because you already yeah. Yeah, you already have been with me. It was a joke. <laughs> Era broma. Okay. okay, practice, please. <laughs> okay, great. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. <laughs> okay, Bye. Marlene. Entonces... Usually get to your workplace, what the first thing you do? I usually arrive at uh, 6, uh, 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my emails and you. Well, I arrived at uh, 7 or 7.30, uh, it's depending on traffic. My first activity is to pick up uh, the letters. Carlos Miguel, remember, arrive, 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 arrive. okay, arrive. I arrive, okay. yes. We'll arrive. Okay, continue with the practice, please. Okay, next. Okay, and uh, Edwin, Roberto, and Jonathan, did you already practice and switch roles with this conversation? ¿Ya practicaron esta conversación e intercambiaron roles? No, ellos están... Ah, okay. Right. okay, okay, while you're practicing... Uh, the other people personalize the conversation, okay? Bye, continue with the practice, um, time flies. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. Ahora, Ezequiel. Ezequiel. Juan. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Hola. Vaya, hoy okay. contigo. Hoy practicamos contigo. Good evening, Ezequiel. What are you doing right now? Uh, good evening, David. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team? 
and the and the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at six at seven, pardon, or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Eh, vamos a cambiar con Filomena. Ok. Es, comience usted, Filomena. ¿Perdón? Comience usted. Ok. Good afternoon. Así como está ahí, vea. Sí. Good afternoon, Raúl. What? Are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Filomena. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference? Why the new thing in San, San Salvador? What? Is your thing doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at uh, 6 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30 it depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay. Ahora comienzo yo. Good afternoon, Filomena. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Caroline. Well, I am planning. Planning. Well, I arrive. I arrive at seven thirty. Uh, it depends on traffic. My first activity is uh, checking and review my, or checking my email. Okay. Ahí sí se me lengua la traba, como que todo el tiempo. En traba lengua. Okay. ¿Qué más? Yo creo que solo eso porque ya lo practicamos y ya le cambiamos. Ya lo personalizaron. Yes, yes. teacher. Pero acá lo de la hora de llegada, yo la misma hora les escuché. Siete o siete. Ay, are you sure? <risa> no, no. Y en la otra persona a las seis no, treinta. No, porque no, ella, la que, ella llega a las cinco. Ajá, no hay que llegar más temprano, tiene que decir la hora real porque esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Sí, te ya dije que a las 5 entra. Really Clelia. Al trabajo. Really Clelia. No me equivoqué. Ah, pero le la hora. Ah, pero ok, but equivoco. that's ok. But sometimes, yes, you arrive early because of the traffic to avoid the traffic jam. Mm. Para evitar el tráfico, hay quienes eh, madrugamos más, ¿sí o no? 
Otherwise, yeah, yeah. it's impossible to be on time. Great, excellent. Entonces, ya, 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 ya lo personalizaron. Yes. Sí. Uh, Clelia practiced with Blanca Luz and Jose Dimas with Ivania. Yes. Okay. Okay. I would like to listen the, to the conversation the way as it is. Blanqui and Clelia, please. Así tal cual como está. Just to listen the pronunciation, please. Okay, uh, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is, just, what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at, at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, 7.30, it depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay, thank you. Just remember arrive, okay? The pronunciation arrive, keep in mind that. Doing right now. Mm, what is the other one? Here I think that the first, first, it sounds like an E, como E, <clears throat> first. Uh, what's the first, first thing you do? I usually arrive at uh, 6.30 a.m. And the first, first thing I do is to check my email. And you, okay, arrive, arrive, arrive. Excellent. Now let's get back to the main session room. I think that you have enough time. All the groups have enough time for the practice, right? Hubo tiempo okay. suficiente para la práctica and also to make it personal, right? To personalize it. Thank you. And here okay. we go. Thank you for your active participation class in the breakout rooms, okay? Remember, practice makes perfect. Carlos Miguel, Jonathan are still in the group. They are in their way back and William also. Let's wait for Carlos and William. So we can move to the next activity. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is what you were practicing, right? And now here, get in pairs and discuss the following questions. Who gets earlier at the workplace and what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? Okay, let's get back and you provide the two answers to these two questions, yeah? You have two minutes to provide these answers in the breakout rooms and then we come back. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, so here we go. I'm opening the groups join your groups if you are so nice scan the information and give me the answer for the two questions okay brandon go to your groups jose dimas please join your group and nelton join your group thank you so much Okay. Uh, who gets earlier at the workplace? 
Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, number one, sería... Ya me voy a Hey, espérate. ¿Qué hiciste? No, no he terminado. Me faltan unos minutos, tranquilo. Teniendo ser listos para la para the, the conference in the meeting room. Mm -hmm. Ese es el topic. Sí, que vale ese día. Ahorita. Teacher, el, the traduction for the get it, getting paid in this in this queues. Discuss. Discuss. Uh, okay. Get translation. Traduction, translation, not traduction. Translation. translation. Getting pairs and discuss the following questions. Eh, en parejas, discutan las siguientes preguntas. Okay. But here you are three. Because in case that one of you lose the connectivity, you stay two. Yeah. Okay, en parejas, get in pairs. Busca un compañero o en parejas. Ok, agrúpate en pareja. ¿Ya? Ok. Ok. Sí, yo. Ok. Did you find out the information, eh, people? ¿Encontraron la información? ¿Ya? Sí. Sí, teacher, solo que las preguntas son, van relacionadas al diálogo. Correcto, a esa conversación, ¿sí? ¿Quién de los dos llega okay. primero? Ok, so you're done, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. ok, great. Then let's get back to the main session room. And here we go. So we can discuss uh, the answers and we are going to standardize the answers, ¿ya? Yeah? To make sure that everybody has the same answers, ¿ya? Yeah? Here we go. There are two groups still working and Brandon is in his way back. We're going to standardize the answers to make sure that all of you have the same answers. And here we go, class, okay? Based on the original conversation, okay? Based on this information that all of you have in your manual, people, who gets earlier at the workplace? Ryan or Raul? Raul. 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 And what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? Planning. I don't know. Planning. Uh, no, no, you said. No lo okay, oh, okay. Uh, what is the topic, Raul? Uh, and his team are discussing, are discussing in the conference. Let's see. Uh, our team's doing right now. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually So It is not said, yeah? Because Raul and his team are discussing in the conference, not mentioned. It is not mentioned. Yeah, the information is not available. Okay, so um, listen class. 
today there was a situation with Zoom because it was an update, but in the chat in WhatsApp, you have the video in order to follow the steps to log in into the class in case that you have a problem tomorrow, okay, for the same situation. Por los inconvenientes al inicio, por la actualización de, de la plataforma en Zoom, uh, hay un video en el chat de WhatsApp para que sigan los pasos, para que no tengan problemas si es que se llegara a dar la misma situación el día de mañana, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, le voy a pedir a Clelia que se quede conmigo esta noche después de la clase. And for the rest of you, thank you so very much for being here in class. You did it for your responsibility. Continue working in the platform, please, okay? Thank you. God bless you and sweet dreams. Sleep well. Happy sleep. Have a good night. Have a good one. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Only Clelia stays with me. Bye-bye. Thank you. Enjoy your dreams, relax, have a good night. Bye-bye, Brandon, bye-bye, Edwin. Filomena, bye-bye. Brandon, bye-bye. Perdón, teacher, que estaba terminando el reporte. Okay, great, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Filomena, see you tomorrow. Okay, Clelia, hello, how are you? Hello. Okay. okay, great. Now we're going to practice a little bit because Filomena, probably she's frozen. Okay, my question is, do you have any problem with the present continuous for future events? ¿Tiene algún problema con la estructura del presente continuo para eventos en futuro? Yo creo que no. Okay, porque si se fija, okay, pues ya, ajá, porque si se fija en la conversación esta última que practicaron, tenemos los dos, las dos estructuras con ING, el presente continuo y el presente continuo, pero con significado de futuro, ¿verdad? Para un futuro, porque cuando decimos, mm -hmm. good afternoon, Raul, what are you doing right now? Este es presente continuo en el momento se está realizando la acción que estás haciendo en este momento, right now. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Estoy planeando. Okay. On the conf oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Se están preparando para la conferencia en el salón de conferencias. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. Acá está presente simple como una actividad rutinaria que era lo que estábamos contrastando. Mm -hmm. Then I, uh, the, and the first thing I do is to check my email. Otra rutina en el trabajo. Okay, another duty. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. Otra rutina, dependiendo del tráfico. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Y mi primera actividad es eh, recoger las cartas, ¿de acuerdo? Mm -hmm. Entonces, tenemos acá el contraste. Veamos. How to use the present continuous for future events. I am meeting the interns tomorrow. This action will take place in the future. Es decir, mañana, ¿verdad? Se va a llevar a cabo. What time is Maria interviewing the people? She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. Como les explicaba ayer, acá está preguntando a qué hora va a entrevistar Maria a las personas. She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. Los va a entrevistar a las 5 de la tarde, pero she is interviewing them, como le está diciendo el periodo de tiempo que no es exactamente en este momento, entonces es un evento a futuro, a pesar de que lleva el verbo to be y el verbo principal en ing, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. Eso es lo que te, debemos de tomar en cuenta, ¿sí? Um, let's see what else here, only the practice, ¿ok? So, I would like you to practice speaking, reading. And here we go. Would you please read this conversation for me, Miss? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. You are okay. the star. 
Bueno. <laughs> Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hi, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year to so. I see, but if you, if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess that I am I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am infor, informing the co committee about it. Excellent. Only here. Guess what? Guess what? Adivina qué. No confundamos el what con el that. Guess what? Adivina qué porque es pregunta. What? Qué para preguntar. Guess what? Adivina qué. Okay, excellent. Very well. Congratulations. And here, okay, we were practicing this. And now this conversation, today's conversation. Okay, please be my guest. Read it. Yes, please. Okay, good afternoon. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new thing in San Salvador. What is our the team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first, the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30 in the bench of traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Very well. Now we're going to practice. I begin and you continue, okay? And later we're going to switch roles. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Uh, you are Raul. Good afternoon, Ryan. Uh, you? Yeah, continue. You are Raul and I am Ryan. Okay, good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning planning a video conference. Still. Oh, the conference with the new team <laughs> in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Um, well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Now we switch. You read Ryan. You begin, Clelia. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon. Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new thing in San Salvador. What is all the doing right now? Yes, oh. it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? Uh, continue with the question. What the <laughs> first thing you do? <laughs> I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up a letter. Excellent. Now we're going to... The only thing is that we're going to replace our names, okay? 
And here we go. I start. Good afternoon, Clelia. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon. Uh, <laughs> Irma. <laughs> yeah, because teacher, everybody tells me teacher. Right uh -huh, yes, I know. Okay. Well, Good afternoon, Irma. Uh, well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, uh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at um, 6 o'clock a.m. And the first thing I do is to check. I do is uh, to run my computer. And you? Well, I arrive at 6 or 6.10 a.m. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to open the classroom. Yes, okay. Now we switch. You begin. Ahora Hello. usted comienza with our real names, okay? Okay. Good afternoon, Irma. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Clelia. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team now doing? Como era? Doing. <laughs> doing. Doing. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first, first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 a.m. And the first thing I do is to open my classroom. And you? Well, I arrive at 6 a.m. or um, 7 a.m. It depends on, tra on traffic. My first activity is uh, to run my computer. Okay, very well to turn on the computer. Excellent. Very well done. So um, I think you don't have that kind of problems that some people have in the reading. Okay, that's good. Now I would like you to read the months of the year for me, please. Read the months of the year for the teacher. Um, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, November, December. December. Okay. Thank you so very much. Miss Clelia, thank you so very much for giving me this time to practice uh, in this one on one session. Okay. okay. Have a good night. Thank you for being in class and continue working in the platform, okay? See you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Sweet good dreams. Night. See you Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.